This is parkour. Internet sensation of 2004. And it was in one of the Bond films. It's pretty impressive. The goal is to get from point A to point B as creatively as possible. So technically they are doing parkour as long as point A is delusion and point B is the hospital. I'm the survivor. I'm not gonna give up. Good morning, Rick Woods. These are your morning announcements for Friday, May 20th, 2022. I'm Aiden Simone. And I'm Alex Jones, and now it's your student announcements. Students, please be sure to get all of your books returned to the library ASAP. If the library is closed, please put them in the drop box outside of the library. Cross-country athletes and teachers, don't forget about the 300-mile challenge Coach, Coach Clark gave you. Get those legs pumping and fill out your running sheet to prove you are number one. Boys soccer meeting this Tuesday, May 24th, after school in room 262. This is for all boys interested in playing soccer next fall. Again, boys soccer meeting on May 24th after school in room 262. Final exam waiver forms can be picked up in the AP office. They need to be completed and signed by your teacher. The completed form must be returned by the student to Mrs. Halstead by 3 o'clock p.m. on the next Friday, May 27th. No forms will be taken after that time. No exceptions. Uh, junior students who are interested in purchasing and painting a senior parking spot for 22 to 23 school year, pick up an application from the front office. Parking spots are $45 each. Applications and money are due by June 3rd to Rachel Schusler or the front office. K-Club will be having our last meeting of the year Tuesday, May 24th. After school in the orchestra room, please come join us as we celebrate our last meeting together. Congrats to our varsity girls soccer team for winning their first regional soccer game against the Limestone Rockets and defending the castle. Blasting the Rockets into space, finishing the game at 3-0. They will play the Eagles on Saturday in their second regional game. Lady Knights go fight and guard our honor against Dunlap Saturday. That's all we have for today's show for Friday, May 20th, 2022. I'm Alex Jones. And I'm Aiden Simone. Have a flippin' cool Friday. Richwoods, Flynn Sai, take it away. Good morning, Richwoods. Welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Report. I'm Snyder Saw. And I'm Flynn Robertson. Now this is our next to last episode, so we're going to make it a banger today, but, but aside, some, some don't feel right. I agree. It's almost like we have a special guest in the building. Yeah, a special guest. Please, everyone, welcome Tyler Skavinsky, your yeah. old Weekend Report host. What it do, Rich Woods? What it do? All right. Now, let's get into the haps. Let's go. We got graduation practice at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. for all them seniors out there. We got the boys varsity tennis team going to sectionals. The location is to be announced, so good luck, boys. Don't cause a racket. <laughs> Next up, we got girls varsity soccer at regionals finals at Dunlap. So they start at 12 p.m. And the class of 2022 graduation for you guys in the main gym at 4 p.m. And then we got the boys varsity tennis sectionals again on Friday, I'm pretty sure, and the location is to be announced. Then last up, we got girls track at state starting at 8 a.m. On Saturday in Edwardsville, go down, go support your runners. Run it up, Richwoods. Run it up. For our first segment today, we got our special guest spinning the wheel. Yes. So I almost said yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you're ready, Tyler. All right. Let's see what we got to do today. All right. What are the options? All right. Three-point contest, interview. All right. Oh Lord. What can I say? Interview. interview. All right. All right, Tyler, thank you for joining us for this interview today. Yes, sir. Uh, my name's Ellen DeGeneres. And I am Steve Harvey. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to ask first is what have you been doing since you graduated here at Richwoods? Uh, I've been attad uh, attending, attending Bradley University, uh, majoring in sports communication with a minor in theater and performing arts. Uh, I'm working with the Bradley basketball team down there, um, doing a whole bunch of different like things at Bradley, keeping me involved, been busy with schoolwork, college, 
it's it's stressful sometimes. Let me tell you. But uh, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure, for yeah, sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we we would know. But uh, that that's about it. All right. Uh, oh, and buying more shoes, of course, and eating lots of, of Taco course, Bell. Of course, buying so. more shoes. Exactly, exactly. What is the one thing that you miss from Richwoods? One thing I miss from Richwoods. Uh, well, hmm. Ooh, that's hard. Miss Newton, I miss your class. If you're watching this, <laughs> shout out to you, Miss Newton. Uh, yeah, Miss Newton. Gotta, gotta miss the cafeteria food. Actually, we didn't even get cafeteria food my senior year here. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, I miss some of my friends from my senior class. Uh, I miss all my friends that, like, knew me at Richwoods. Um, as the Weekend Report guy. As the Weekend Report guy. Yes. What else did I miss? Ooh, those pep assemblies used to hit hard. Pep assemblies. Pep assemblies used to hit hard. Is there any special shout outs to teachers you want to give out? Oh, shout out to teachers. Uh, Ms. Newton, Mr. Padera. I know you're not here, Mr. Padera, because you're at a track meet right now, so hopefully you're doing well. Um, who else? Oh, Dr. Likey. Um, who else? Coach Smith, if you're watching this. Uh, RIP Dr. Kearns. Uh, um, <laughs> he didn't die. He just retired. No, no, he just retired. <laughs> uh, all the teachers that I cannot remember. Shout out the teachers you can't remember. Shout out teachers shout I can't out, remember. Shout out to all the you teachers. are appreciated. Not remembered, but you are appreciated. Yes, yes. Oh, Miss Robinson, history teacher. Uh, <laughs> she's pretty cool. She said this is going on. Um, yeah, so that's it, teachers. So <laughs> thanks, thanks, teachers. Oh, I forgot to say, Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan, <laughs> shout out to you. I know you're watching. My least favorite college class. A least favorite college class. Oh, <laughs> my math class. My teacher hasn't taught the course in 13 years. I got stuck with him. I still managed to get a B, though. Hey, no, that's but, better than my yeah, math class. Yes. Which I was taught but, uh, more than that. I don't think he's coming back next year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, that, that, that's it. Uh, all right, what is your uh, favorite memory from high school? Favorite memory from high school? I think I just miss, be, um, like, I miss being able to like, walk to class with, like, you know, being like, in a hallway. I miss like the different like fun activities we would do like the pep assemblies the like spirit days and stuff like that all the dances and stuff we did have some band um, spirit days this year yes oh, yeah. yes i i heard um bring anything but a backpack yeah, that one was yeah really we didn't have that one uh but i kind of missed like the environment you know like richwoods was such a cool diverse like high school it was cool like yeah. being here and stuff like that seeing all the different types of people and everything so i was pretty all solid right. all right what's your go-to broke boy college meal broke boy college meal <sighs> what's your go-to all right all right. Um, are we doing like fast food or at home? Both. Okay, so if it was a fast food restaurant, got to go to that five dollar box at Taco Bell because all these <laughs> all these other restaurants tax like crazy. So get yourself some nice tacos, a beefy five layer burrito with no beans because those, <laughs> those beans are not the move. But um, um, and then uh, but like at home. Cheesy like roll ups. You put literally shredded cheese in a taco shell nice. and you mic you microwave it. Um, uh, like non bread, which is really good. Uh, non sandwiches are good. Non's like a really good bread. Um, non bread. I've yes. Never heard of it. It's it's really good. Um, I would say Kraft mac and cheese, but I don't like Kraft mac and cheese. So. No! I can't believe you done me like this, it's, Tyler. It's so like dust. It's like no. dry. It's like dusty and dry. You're making it wrong. It is dusty. You're making it wrong, bro. You gotta put some more milk in. Extra milk. Exactly. Uh, like, I guess so. I guess I'm doing something. You gotta be cheesy. Oh, cinnamon toast crunch. Speaking cinnamon of milk, there we go. That, that was a good one. That was a good one. There we go. All right. Thanks so much for joining of us. Of course. Glad to be here. And now, right. this week, as our second segment, we have makeup part two. Where Flynn got, I got my makeup done by L, who was blindfolded, and due to unfortunate circumstances last week, this was delayed till this week. But now we got it, and we're ready to show you guys. So enjoy. Roll the tape. So for part two of our makeup segment, we're reversing it. Last time I was blindfolded and I did L's makeup. This time L is going to put the makeup on me. So let's get straight into it. I cannot see. Although you got my poor family, that's my nose. You don't even got nobody being honest with you. I'm really free to lie. Your nose feels so weird. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Transportation like, handbag. Like in a in a bad way. I drive a weird. I don't know. Like it's like very very. I don't trust him anyway. I'm a thin person. You can't break the law with them. Get some good she have a calm night. Shooters killing left and right. Working through your worst night 
If I get my money, you know I won't need you. Can I tell you? I hope the sack is full up. I'm Got blended up to your eyes. That's that's how that. Spend it when I get that. I ain't trying to keep you. Can't keep up a conversation. Can't nobody read you. Why your eyes well up? No, no, no. Hope you're doing well, bro. Oh, and then I've been out here head first. Always like a head first. See no coming in and out. Ron's getting bullied out here. Oh my god, it's different than mine. Everybody needs you. I don't know how to do it. Everybody needs you. Shimmer. Shimmer. Let's go. About to be a shiny. This feel like a quail. Like an influencer. No sleep in my body. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, Madonna? I'll take it. <laughs> Go. And then, oh, okay, mascara. I'm a little nervous about this one. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Um, where? Okay, now don't open your eyes. I'm just going to do it the wrong way. Ooh. I did it, I did it. Right? Uh, no. I don't want to see no one. I don't want to die. want to feel a lot. I don't want to get flashed. Let's do this. Okay, this is a sample that I got from Sephora. Let's go. Dior? Dior. I'm bougie today, y'all. Alright. I'm bougie today, y'all. Alright. I'm bougie today, y'all. Every day, shit. Every day, shit. on your teeth. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, and I don't think the eyes look that great. I'm up. Here it is. Setting spray. Oh, let's so, go. Because I'd love to have this in for a long amount of time. <laughs> Are you saying I did a bad job? No, of course not. <laughs> I thought I did so good. Oh my god, my hands are a total mess. It looks like I ate like a small rodent. <laughs> Bro, okay, so just so everyone is aware, Elle brought all this makeup. Didn't bring anything to remove it. <laughs> Y'all have seen me since this has been on, because I can't take it off. <laughs> this is the explanation. I did not eat a small rodent. Not yet. Not even a small rodent, bro. <laughs> I look like I found Daniel's real barrel of sauce and just went... <laughs> The legend. Uh, you know what? I think mine's more of a classy look. You could definitely go to, you know, say the Met Gala. Yeah, I'll hit up Met Gala. In <laughs> my prom suit. And we'll see what we're <laughs> prom suit. We started it now. I right, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Flynn Robertson. And Alan Special. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Back to the weekend report. Okay, so our bracket battle this month is our final bracket battle for the year. It was favorite candy. You guys all submitted your options. We put the leaders in a bracket and y'all voted. Tyler, who is the winner? Let me say, the winner, I got some words for y'all. How do y'all pick Sour Patch Kids over Twix? <laughs> the Sour Patch Kids are not good. The watermelon <laughs> Sour Patch Kids are good, though. Those are good. But tw I got to go with Twix on this one. But Sour Patch Kids won with a vote of 62% to 38%. You can't go wrong with Sour Patch Kids, though. I love Sour Patch Kids. I'm still mad the Rolos got out, got first rounded, but yeah. Here you can see the bracket. Oh. What's your personal favorite from here? Sour Patch Kids, Milky Way Skittles, Swedish Fish, Butterfinger. Oh, oh, gotta click on the story. <laughs> uh, so, oh, wh wh where's the Jolly Ranchers and Laffy Taffy? <laughs> I didn't get submitted, bro. Uh, these, these are these are. Oh, they're student submitted. Student yeah, submitted. these are student submitted. Uh, well, y'all got some catching up on candy to do. <laughs> <laughs> but kudos to y'all who picked up. <laughs> 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 there we go. Well, and we will bring back our monthly poll next year. But this was our last one. So yeah, thank you so much for going to our Instagram, CanYT underscore news, and voting. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, we so now it is time for this segment called the weekly poll of the week. Uh, this week's question is, what is one thing you won't miss from Merchwoods this summer? 
Uh, one thing I won't miss is I'm a procrastinator, so I often find myself writing papers at like 1 a.m. That's one thing I will not miss over the summer. Get it done, so, what get about it you? Done. I'll miss not waking up early. I'll be able to at least sleep in a little bit and not run on four hours of sleep because I procrastinated on my work. That's a good one. That's so, a good one. What's one thing you don't miss from your rich time here at Richwoods? Ooh. Let me tell you. That bipolar weather in this school, it can be 60 degrees one day, and then one day it'll feel like it's about 104. So, kids, uh, make sure you stay cool. And that is all we have for this week. Longer episode, but it is the basically the last episode of the year. The so, season finale to the season finale. True. Exactly. Yep. As always, I'm saying yourself. I'm Flynn Robertson, and our special guest... I'm Tyler Skabinski. We'll see you later, Richwoods. We love you and appreciate you. Peace out. Always.